Oh! oh my that goodness. cannot be true. Apparently it is. <laughs> my parents lied to me. I'm shook. <laughs> We're back for another very merry episode of Two Lies and a Leaf. Let's welcome our players. Three-time Grammy Award-winning a cappella group, Pentatonics. In this quintet, we've got Kirsten Maldonado, Mitch Grossi, Scott Hoying, Kevin Alushala, and Matt Salee. Today's winner will take home an ancestry gift and the Golden Leaf Trophy. And I am your host, Jackie. Now don't be digging through my branches to get a peek at your presents. Let's just play Two Lies and a Leaf. Pentatonics! Why do the holidays mean so much to you? We love the holidays so much and we want to bring so much love, joy, and light to so many people. I think it's really special that we get to be the soundtrack to all these families' memories. It's really the one time of year that we get to be with our family and our loved ones. Some of us are starting new families. It's my first year as a mom. <gasps> Yay. Congratulations! So yes, it'll be my baby girl's first Christmas. This is the warm-up round, where everyone has a chance to win a point. Now, for each of you, what country makes up the highest percentage of your DNA? Oh. Easy. Oh. Is everyone ready? Yeah, I think so. I would say Nigeria. Mm. And if this is wrong, I'm going to be confused. Oh, be, I will also be confused. I will be so confused. <laughs> the answer is... Okay. Hey! hey! Uh, he knew, yeah. he knew. I think mine is also Nigeria. Yay! Oh, my oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. There we go. Kirsten, what do you think? Mexico. Ooh, oh. your answer is? Oh, my God. Mexico. I did know that. If I get this wrong, Jackie, <laughs> I'll be upset. I put Italy. And the answer is? Italy! Oh there God. you go. Oh, Look at this nose, honey. You <laughs> know? <laughs> Look at this hair, honey. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I put Germany and then a guy with lederhosen saying Guten Tag. <laughs> Answer is Sweden and Denmark. Oh, oh my that gosh. That cannot be true. <laughs> Apparently it is. My parents lied to me. Oh my god! I'm 30 years old. This I'm just awkward. now finding this out. <laughs> yep. I'm shook. <laughs> Speaking of regions across the globe, you just released your sixth holiday album. Where did the idea come from? We've always been really proud that we're a diverse group and that we all work in harmony, not only musically, Ooh. but as people. What an amazing opportunity and way to do something with the whole world and have this just international community join us in song. Mm. Yeah. So I heard you and Disney Plus cooked up something extra special for this album. Yeah, it was really exciting. We got to collaborate with so many artists from around the world and we learned about their stories of how they celebrate the holidays. This question is about the paternal side of your family, mm. the Brugger family line. Last name <laughs> Brugger means bridge maker in German. Interesting. But your three-time great-grandfather, George Brugger, was known George. for making something else. Was he a A, wagon maker, B, blacksmith, or C, a baker? I feel like my grandpa was really into, like, locomotives. Mm-hmm. And so was my dad. So I'm gonna say wagon maker. He's right. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Wow. Good job. Good job. Thank you. George was a wagon maker oh when he immigrated to America and settled the Brugger clan in Ohio. So cool. Oh my God, cool. Yeah. And check out these incredible Brugger getups. Oh. Worn by your great grandfather Francis oh. and great aunt Agnes. I also <laughs> had that haircut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt, here we go. <clears throat> this question will test how well you know your father, Ernest. Okay. When he was studying at Baltimore City College in 1982, what nickname was he given? <clears throat> oh my gosh. A, Dr. Danger. B, Miss Baltimore Baby Heart. Or C, <laughs> Dr. Ease. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go with C. C, Dr. Ease? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Yes! Oh, wow! Oh my gosh! So hey, handsome. Your dad oh was God. a stud. Okay, dad. Come on, dad. During college, Dr. Ease was also singing in the All City Chorus, which was long before he became a beloved music pastor. He met my mom around that time, too, oh. so 
I wonder if she called she the doctor that, yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I ever remember singing is with him by the like organ. And I would come and sing with him to the church and they would all be like, oh, it's amazing. I was like, oh, I guess I'm good at this. <laughs> Are you ready to ask Kirsten her question? Yes, I am. Okay. Your question is about your second great grandfather, Pedro Medina. Okay. At one time in his life, Pedro was in the hospital at the same time as a well-known figure who was being treated under the same roof. Was it President John F. Kennedy, B, Marilyn Monroe, C, Dwight D. Eisenhower? I'm going to say John F. Kennedy because he was in Dallas and that's where my family is from. Oh, so, wow. Hey. You were correct. Hey! <laughs> so Pedro was being treated by doctors at Parkland Hospital in Dallas, Texas, at the same time President Kennedy was rushed in for care. No way. Wow. Oh that's, my goodness. That's insane. Your great-grandmother, Carmen Medina, and the entire family were visiting Pedro when they were prevented from leaving once the president was on site. Oh my oh gosh. gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's insane. I mean, I had no idea. Kirsten, time to ask Kevin his question. The question I'm going to ask you is about your second great-grandfather, Albert Paul. Living in Grenada, Albert held what esteemed an uncommon job? A, wine merchant, B, surgeon, C, cacao dealer. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Literally have no idea. So I'm gonna say surgeon. Okay. No, I'm gonna say cacao dealer. Are you sure? Yeah. You're correct. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. You're correct. <laughs> cool. That's yes. awesome. Kevin, have a look at his occupation on his civil registration. And we also have some Grenada cocoa tea for you to share with the group. Oh, oh yay. Yay. that sounds good. Thank you. Oh, I can't. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. My mom loves making hot cocoa tea with Johnny Bake, which is a type of bread and codfish, and I'm just starting to codfish think about that. hot chocolate? Yeah. That's crazy. Oh yeah, it's something very, very common. It's like, it's it's so good, and so that, this is starting to make sense why the two could be connected now. That's, That's so cool. beautiful. That's really interesting, yeah. All right, Kevin, ready to stump Mitch? Your question is about your grandfather, Toby Grossi. Okay, I know him. <laughs> Toby helped to plan an annual three-day festival for a philanthropic organization. What part of the festival did he supervise? <laughs> A, the game table, mm -hmm. B, the dance floor, or C, the photo booth? Oh no, this is hard. I want to say A, but something about me is screaming photo booth. But I'm going to say A. You sure? Yeah. You're right! Oh. Hey. 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 Look at that. What? Oh. A stud. <laughs> He's so handsome. Oh my god. This newspaper article says that Toby was setting up game tables for a fundraiser put on by the oh Sons of Italy, a philanthropic organization started in 1905 to create a support system for Italian immigrants. No way. That's so cool. And he also was really stylish. And that is most important. I think. <laughs> <laughs> It is time for our final round. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. You may not know this, but you all have an ancestor born or married on a major holiday. What? Isn't that crazy? Wow. So each of you write down which holiday you think it is. Oh, oh that's my God. I mean, I want to pick the obvious. Oh, yeah. I know this. You do? I do. Why can I only think of two holidays? <laughs> <laughs> Same. Oh, like, really Labor two. Day? Like... Okay, ready, everybody? Mm -hmm. Yes. Quick score check so we all know the stakes. Everybody has the same amount of points, and then Scott's minus one of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kirsten, what did you say? I put Christmas. Your third great-grandfather, Valentino, was born on Valentine's Day. Oh, I almost oh, went Valentine's, I almost Day. Day. I almost I Valentine's Day. Almost Day. Darn. Scott. What did you put? I put New Year's Day. Scott's grand uncle Jerome Hoying was born on Halloween. Oh my God! Oh, cool. Spooky. Spooky, ooky. Kevin, what do you think? My grandma Alice on my dad's side. I remember she was born on December twenty fifth. <gasps> Let's go! Kevin's paternal grandmother Alice was born on Christmas. That's the one thing I do. <laughs> This whole thing, I do. You know who else was born on Christmas? Who? Oh. Jesus Christ. Which is <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Now, so Mitch, funny. Yeah. what do you think? I put Easter. 
We have another Christmas connection. Oh, oh wow. wow. Mitch, your two-time great-grandparents, Mary Crowell and Elmer Runyon, were married on Christmas. <laughs> That's really cool. Here's something pretty exciting. Matt, if you get this right, you have a chance to tie. I put Christmas. Your four-time great-grandparents, get ready for these names, Prince Sledge. Oh, what? That's amazing. That's awesome. And Margaret Ive got married on New Year's Day. Oh! Well, that was quite a game. And now, the winner of the Golden Leaf Trophy is Kevin! Congratulations. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> that is so crazy. Oh, wow. Wow. Put some hot Kevin. cocoa in it. Put some hot cocoa from my, put a whole codfish <laughs> school in there. And because it's the season of giving, everyone will get an ancestry gift to pass along to someone in your family. Aww. How you feeling, Kevin? I'm actually really excited about this because I wanted to learn a lot more about my mom's side of the family. To know that my family had ties to the cacao industry in Grenada is really, really special. I loved to learn about my grandfather's philanthropic uh, involvement. thought that was awesome. I feel like today I've learned the importance of passing down stories. I have such an extended family that I don't know too much about, and that story that I learned today was so interesting. Thank you so much for playing, and you at home, thanks so much for watching Two Lies and a Leaf. Let your loved ones open a world of discoveries this holiday with the gift of ancestry. Shop the link below. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next Two Lies and a Leaf. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs> 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 two Lies and a Leaf. Two Lies and a Leaf. Two Lies and a Leaf. Two Lies and a Leaf.